Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Didi with Didi at Home, and today I'm coming to you with a new natural hair video. You guys, this is my very first time, okay? Let me repeat this. This is my very first time doing a wash and go on my Type 4 fine hair. So there are lots of reasons why I have never attempted to do this. Number one, my sister has tried to do this on my hair before and I did not like how it came out because my hair is very fine and it does not look like what you see here on this platform typically. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going out like this. So that's the first reason. The second reason is the fact that, hello, I live in a very humid environment in Texas and I was afraid of what was gonna happen to my hair if I went outside, it was really humid. And number three, I didn't feel like I had the right products to do a wash and go on my hair. I didn't feel like I was informed enough to do a wash and go on myself that it would actually come out well. So I have been doing more natural hair tutorials on my channel and a lot of you have said in my comments that you have hair just like mine and you basically want to see me do more videos. And so I have been going back and forth. I'm like, oh my goodness, I do not want to do these videos. My hair is not going to come out right. And I can't be all on YouTube looking at mess, y'all. I just can't do it. So I said... I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone, I'm gonna try and go ahead, and regardless of how this comes out, I'm gonna put out the video, so here we are. But, y'all, I now know I say y'all a lot, but ladies, I think it came out great. I feel like it was giving what it needed to give, I feel like it's doing something, I feel like I could really go out somewhere with this and still be cute and confident. So I really like the way that it looks. Yes, my hair is very fine. I do have a uh, type 4 hair and it's right now I picked it but not really a lot because I really didn't feel like I needed to. I really like the shape. It's just some pieces here in the back that I think I stretched out. Um, too much but I think I can fix that the next time like I said this is the first time um, I'm very detailed as always in the video but if you guys have any additional questions please go ahead and drop them in the comment box you guys know I get back with you as soon as possible so if you have questions definitely let me know in the comment box but I'm not gonna say too much right now I just want to go ahead and get into the video but as always guys if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel I I do everything here lifestyle beauty hair home decor I do all those things here on my channel so again if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified when I do upload new videos here on this channel and like I said please consider subscribing and share it with your friends so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna say is I just went ahead and co-washed my hair and my thought process is I am just going to go ahead and detangle. I'm putting on some of this um, So Much Moisture. It is by the brand As I Am. And this um, Mio Organics this is a leave-in conditioner and this is in the pomegranate and honey this, but i'm going to use it and then the second product that i'm going to use is this um as i am product this is the classic curling jelly so like i said i'm going to go ahead and take my water bottle and i'm going to go ahead and spray I'm not gonna be using any type of dimming brush or anything like that because I do know with my hair when I'm actually trying to do it, when I use brushes and stuff like that, it just actually makes my hair um, shrink up more. So I'm not gonna do that. I just used the leave-in conditioner and I didn't show y'all how much I put in my hand, but I'll show you in a second. So I'm just raking it through my hair just to make sure 
all of my strands are actually coated with the leave-in conditioner so um, I'm just gonna be repeating this process every time um, like I said I'm putting the leave-in conditioner so I'm just gonna do a raking motion and then I'm gonna do like the prayer hands motion as well so as you can see this is what it is looking like just with the leave-in conditioner on not bad now I'm gonna take the curling jelly and I have this much on my finger and let's see doing the same thing I'm just raking it through Time's been moving slowly, so we are ready. And my hair is already forming curls, so I do like it. It's not really separating though, so I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. Getting me to come through, kick it with you. Night turns to morning, too. going to use this some of this eco styler gel too just because I don't know y'all I do not want to do my whole head and then it looks like trash so I don't know see that looks better already extra but I know I'm the same love me in spite of my trauma give me what I need always stay. make sure that you are getting the product on your ends to me it's always more of a struggle in the middle of my hair just because you can't always see that part so my hair always looks better on like the outside if it makes sense can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. So I think the top part, I want to do the top part a little deeper because I want it all like coming towards the front. So I want it all 
all coming to the front. So let's see. Block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail. I separate ways ain't gon' end well. No. What I noticed with my type of hair is Whatever direction you want it to fall in, you kind of have to style it in that way. We don't have, or I don't have the type of hair where you can um, do it and then like flip it to the side and it still looks good. It's like, no girl. If you want all your hair coming to the front, then you need to style your hair all coming to the front. You can't do it to the back and then be like, oh, let me um, just pull all my curls forward. I mean, it'll work, but you're gonna have to put a headband on there, a scarf or something Something like that because it's not gonna stay unless you add more water to it and I'm not about to do that so I'm gonna go ahead add water over here Oops. like that's it okay. I've been calm cook collected but you pushing on my nerves and knowing your intention then. I'm under Bro. pressure okay I'm admitting that and the couple things I said got acidic in the town and the presence I get careless Long as you know I covered yeah. imperfections when you look at me, you oh, see the yeah, soul through yeah. my flesh. You saw the No, you looking bomb the way you dress it, gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage, sure you got the upper the handle end. on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather. We go fight the the but you trying to kill the cycle. When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it. I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure. Huh? Feel like you set it fire to my desire for the pleasure. And I do know with my hair texture, the more products I actually add to my hair, the longer it takes to dry. So I don't know how long it's gonna take this hair to dry, y'all. We're gonna figure it out together. But I am gonna come back on camera once it's fully dry so that we can actually see um, what it turns out like. And we're gonna see if y'all if this don't turn out right like I said we're gonna either put it in a puff or we're gonna throw um, some type of um, headband something on it or whatever I don't know we're gonna make it work and we're gonna wear it regardless so since I know I want the front of my hair to kind of have like a little bit of height up here I'm actually going to separate it and into smaller pieces oops into smaller pieces at the front hoping that oops, hoping that it'll make it um i don't know if it's gonna if it would do that in the back but i'm hoping at the front it'll give it a little bit more height. So I'm adding in my leave-in conditioner. And y'all, let me just show you this um, snot. It literally, I said, I call this snot. It reminds me of the, um, the stuff that we used to use back in the day um, for curly hair. But it's a curling jelly, but if you look at it, it's very, um, like the consistency is weird. Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you the 
side. Um, I try and bring it over that part because I don't want the part to actually you to be able to see the part. So I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. Trying to go ahead and cover it down. The way you stare, the way you wrote up for me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Boy, you take me on a trip. Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you that go is left, it I'm stuck for here. this section, this is what it looks like. With I kind of like it. I don't hate it. Okay. Um, I know for sure that I'm gonna be picking it out, and I kind of have an idea of what I want the shape to look like once it's completely dry, y'all. So I really, really fingers crossed. I hope this comes out cute. Um, and if it does, your girl will have a new style. So fingers crossed for that. I really hope it comes out cute or whatever. So I'm just gonna give you guys kind of like a 360 of what it looks like now. And my lighting, I don't have my ring light in front of me because, um, I just didn't put it on there, but this is what the curls look like. Okay, and then this is what it looks like in the bag. If you love me just like you say you do. If you kill him, not bad. I do. Um, like I said, I do know that I want my hair cut into a shape, but if this can give me a shape doing it like that, that would be perfect. However, I still know I do need my um, ends trim, so I'll be doing that or going to get that done soon. But this is what it looks like wet. So I'll come back on camera. Don't leave it. I'm gonna come back on camera um, in a few hours or however long to take my hair to dry, and I'll show you guys the finished product. So. See y'all later. Alright you guys, so I am back and my hair is pretty much dry. Y'all, let me tell you, this little routine that I did, it was not giving what it was supposed to give. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the products that I used, but y'all, I'm starting to feel like just wash and goes are not my thing like my hair shrinks up so bad y'all know that and i don't know it just doesn't matter what products i use or whatever it is my hair just y'all you see what my hair looked like when it was wet and now you see what it looks like when it is dry y'all it is just this is not what i was thinking it's just not doing what it was supposed to do so like I said when I did this, I am still going to let you guys see what I do with it. And so my first thought is to try and use a handheld dryer on the low setting. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put it on a cool setting. And then I'm just going to um, kind of take my hair and just kind of stretch it out. I don't know that I really want to stretch it out like in the back too much it's more so on these sides right so I want my hair to be 
fuller here and then kind of go up into the shape that I wanted to do and then definitely in the front because my bang kind of just shrunk up as well so I'm gonna try that and try and see um, what it turns out like and like I said if I still don't like it then I'm just gonna try and do some type of updo so let's see what we can get with um, just using that blow dryer like how they did that on the side I feel like just kind of blowing the air on it it kind of um separated the curls more so that definitely looks better let me try and do that on this side too see what it looks like now I don't hate it I don't hate it I actually kind of like it what y'all think I like the shape so I know I kept referencing the shape the shape the shape but kind of what I wanted to do is kind of go like be kind of tapered here and then go up in this direction and then like this. I don't even know what this shape is called but this little part right here I wish it looked more like this side but I don't know what happened to that. So I don't think I want to pick it out too much in the back. If anything, I think I'm going to use the blow dryer like I did the other sides just so that I can um, make sure it's like, what's the term I'm trying to, like the curls are separated. to it um, tomorrow or whatever when I uh, wake up and sleep on it because I'm gonna tell y'all right now this hair is gonna be pegged down to my head I know people like to know what do I do at night so I'm gonna just take some hair ties and I'm gonna kind of just pull it down just to stretch it because if not honey let me tell you right now it's gonna be a hot mess and I do not do pineapples I don't put it up like that because with my type of hair um, like I said early in the video, if I do decide to um, put it up in a pineapple, honey, you just, I might as well just start from scratch because it's not going to work for me. So I just take a hair tie and I just kind of pull my hair down in whatever direction it is. So like this hair is coming this way. So I'm just going to take a hair tie and I'm just going to kind of stretch it myself and then put a hair tie very loosely here. And so then in the morning when I wake up, I can just, you know, let it go and just flip it out like this. 
But the only thing that I still have left to do that I haven't done yet is pick it out. I like it, so I'm kind of nervous about picking it out, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the sake of the video, you know. So, I don't even know if it's gonna make that much of a difference, but let's see. my earrings and necklace and y'all I really I really feel like I'm doing a little something I feel like it's giving what it needs to give now what do y'all think and then I'm just gonna kind of slowly turn around so that you guys can see right now I feel like the way that I picked it and the way that I did it it's kind of giving like a little taper effect I don't know it's doing something but whatever it's doing I like it you guys let me know in the comment box I am y'all I'm patting my own self on the back with this one right now because I have been wanting to do a wash and go on my hair for so long I feel like once I get these little back pieces together honey I'm gonna be ready to go braids wear I'm gonna be ready to go and honestly this did not take me a long time at all like I said, I co-washed my hair and then that whole process of doing that to my hair, it probably took 20 minutes. It's the longest 20 minutes. The longest part was me letting my hair dry. So just to give y'all a little detail about that, I did um, let my hair air dry for a couple hours. Then I sat under the uh, hair dryer, the hooded dryer for about, um, uh, I don't know I sat in the dryer for a little bit and then you saw I used the handheld one so I don't know I just I was just trying to go ahead and get the rest of this video done honestly because I didn't want to be up trying to do this all day I didn't start doing my hair until three o'clock and right now it is 7 42 so honestly it didn't take that long but again I did sit under the dryer and then you did see me use the handheld dryer as well so that's it with it but I hope you guys like it um if I did not say it before let me say it again please consider subscribing to this channel um I am trying to get these natural hair videos out for you guys because I know a lot of you said that you have natural hair like me as well we know there's not a lot of people on this platform that have hair like us so hopefully I'm giving you a few tips and tricks so that you can be more confident with your natural hair as well but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye